The Iron Bank dates from when Bravos was still the secret city filled with runaways and refugees from the Valyrian slave lords. The first tradesmen to achieve success realized that if they pooled their resources, they could loan money to their less fortunate fellows and build a better Bravos. For a profit, of course. First, they needed a space to store their combined gold, safe from thieves, and more importantly, each other. For the business rivalries that created their fortunes were not easily put aside. They found an abandoned iron mine outside the city and sealed its only entrance with heavy gates and bars and set guards supplied by every principal investor. Each guard watched the gate and the other guards. Over time, this distrust vanished as the investors gave up their other businesses and poured their energies into the new endeavor, now called the Iron Bank after the mine. We've since moved to more spacious quarters, but we still keep our first vault, not merely to remind us of our roots, but because we did not become the world's greatest repository of wealth by wasting assets, no matter how minor. If you're an aspiring merchant, you come to us to buy ships and goods. If you're an aspiring shopkeeper, you come to us to buy your shop. Whatever you need in this world, we are the conduit. Even a throne can be yours if you're an aspiring king, or stay yours if you're a sitting one. Just ask House Lannister of Westeros. We are not the only bank in this world. Every free city has its own, but when those banks need gold, they come to us. We lend to princes, kings, merchants, and tradesmen. If a prince or king can't pay us back, well, the world lacks for loyal men, not ambitious ones. We simply fund the rise of new princes and kings and they tend to honor our investment. If a merchant refuses to repay us, well, the vicissitudes of trade are well known, and Bravos is full of men who are not. One way or another, the Iron Bank will have its due.